Alrighty then, welcome back to more Dot Hack GU. Come on, let's head out for Delta Hidden Forbidden Bulwark. We gotta go there. You know, this is a classic area. It's where uh, Adelie got all fucked up there, the Pyrrhus the Third was brain dead. Kinda just slept there for multiple days. It's a good old place. And hopefully we can get this done and be done with what's basically the intro for the game. We're still partied up, so we can just jump right in. If you're wondering why there's so many new, I went through the forums in Volume 1, so they gave me a bunch of new keywords that I'm never going to use. We're going to go hack the sign and infiltrate the Operation Folder. Target Triedge's sign. A technique used to break the seal on signs carved into different areas by Triedge and warped to other linked areas. However, each hack needs data seeds. Hmm. Oh, well, we picked up a data seed earlier. We don't have enough data seeds. Jeez, what good is that gonna do for us? Uh-oh. I've just received information from Master Yada about a new Ida corrupted area. Boo, it's filler! How dare you do this to me! <laughs> if we can just keep <laughs> You can't do this, I turn into a baby! Well, fucking whatever. Let's just go find Ida and punch in the, punch in the PP. Some may say, "Well, KZ, it's been about half a minute since you had this tr trauma. You feeling better?" To that, to you, I say. You, you can tell. You can tell. I, I, I've I've been up long enough. And I've eaten, and I've had a snack. I'm ready to perform, my friends. You guys still suck. Yep. I kind of wish they had a thing where they just didn't aggro on you. That'd be neat. I guess the damage scaling's supposed to be your reward if you're too strong. No way to use our bike in the dungeon. Now we just gotta run around and hope that we can find Ida in the most convenient amount of time possible, or I'm going to get mad. Stop hitting them! The fight has ended. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little rowdy. I'm getting a little rough today. But I feel like you can sympathize with me. I am trapped within this video game that is a solid seven out of ten most of the time. And I'm in the filler section of it, which is the worst. Which is like, oh man, we can turn this off, but we can do that. You gotta go fight. I don't know. And I'm like, no, don't, don't do this. Stop hurting me. I didn't even break a sweat. I have the game one thing. I'm never gonna complain about anything being too grindy. The game works and is easy. I, I wouldn't say the combat system is the most interesting thing I've ever played, even given stuff that came out around this time on the on the PS2. Wouldn't say that. However, it has not wronged me in any way, so I can't get mad at it. It's like I was playing uh, Star Ocean 5 Integrity and Faithlessness. I believe we did that about a couple of years back. And that game is incredibly mediocre. Look good. However, it was so sh it was so short that I can't really hate it very much, and it did have some okay okay stuff to the point where you know it may not have, it may have been the most by the numbers low budget phoned in JRPG I may have done on this channel, but it didn't. It wasn't around long enough to piss me off. And this one, it's gonna be a lot, be around longer. Actually, I think it's already been longer. Pretty sure Star Ocean was like 20 videos. Uh, here it's gonna be around longer, but it's gameplay and how easy it is makes it so convenient that I, I'm not really losing out much here 
on, on my own time. It's not wasting my time, and it's not upsetting me by that. Wow the pop-in. Wow this pop-in. I like how because of the pop-in, they still allow you to see certain objects, which they put priority. That's an interesting thing for game design. Like, you could see the object, the Ida object, from a larger distance. They made that L-O... I believe L-O-D is the name of it? They made that super large, but everything else not. You'd think we wouldn't really need this pop-in anyway, right? You, you, oh, thank God they don't do the, I'm right here, Skate! But, uh... This game and it's a it's it's, it's a normal gameplay. I'm not counting these because this shit's dope and I like this. Even even if it's just hey fight the fight Anna again. Uh, it's it's normal gameplay and just the how easy it is to get through everything makes it so I don't you know the low points don't make me go I hate everything about this, which I appreciate. However, I've heard many people say the original Dot .hack games, they need to remake them more than just remaster them, because apparently their their gameplay is terrible. I don't know how true it is. I heard a lot of people say it, though, so... I have to wonder if they remaster them and just do only a couple of quality of life things, how much of a mess I think that was. But hey, you know, sometimes I can play something uh, for the story, less of the gameplay. I played the original Nier. And anyone who tells you that gameplay was fun, well, well, they're lying. <laughs> now let's get this gun out. But again, I just, I still think this game's fun. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. It's not super exceptional. I'll give the game this. Any, any data drain or avatar related thing the game throws at me, it's colors and aesthetic are some of the best shit I've ever seen. I really like it. I, Don't let your guard down. There's still other Ida signs. Okay, so there's more to get. But um, I kind of hope that Dot Hat continues past this. Now I know on the PSP there was one called uh, Dot Hack Link because when you really want to keep your series longevity up, you put it on the fucking PSP. Who, who who the fuck would you know advance their story of their games through the PSP? So that's Kingdom Hearts. But you, you, you know what I mean. They said that this was supposed to bring bring the series back into the mainstream's uh, consciousness. Like, hey, this is Dot Hack. Do you remember this? And they're like, oh man, this is cool. I'd like to play one that you know, where the characters where the characters' faces move during normal cutscenes. So hopefully they make a hopefully they make another one, because I will probably jump onto it, and hopefully that. You won't have to watch an anime, and then also have to, also have to just play some other games or play some other DVD menu shit to understand everything that's going on, or to get full context and stuff. I know there's apparently there's an anime I'm supposed to watch. I don't know. There's like ten of those dot hack anime. I'm not gonna watch it, but I know they're there. I kind of come off as a prick saying it like that, where it's like, I know it's there, but I'm not going to do it. But I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in this moment where I'm constantly sounding like a complete prick, and I'm, and that's not my intention. But every time I attempt to jump off that point, it gets worse. You ever have that moment? Now, typically, when you when you start talking yourself into a corner, the best course of action is to shut the fuck up. Unfortunately, I I can't. There's no one. There's no cutscene, and two, I'm supposed to commentate over the video game, so I'm trapped. And you, you're trapped with... Okay, that's not true. You can close the video. In fact, you're probably scanning... You're using your cursor to find the part where plot happens. To be honest, I'd like to do that too. Can we get to the part where I open up the triage thing and we can proceed with this part of the plot and move on to something more interesting? 
to be honest, I was expecting us to have a nice, super quick linear moment here and just jump back into the, uh... Jump back into fixing this thing. We're not in the the Ida's mirror of the actual game server. And then I could start hanging out with friends. But then I also have to think about this aspect. Which I think, uh... Which I guess I shouldn't complain. And it's the fact that Gaspard is nowhere to be seen. If I was to choose between... Go take down these uh, malevolent supernatural viruses within the video game. First of all, Pi's a cunt, and uh, no one can convince me otherwise. Um, if I had to choose between fighting Ida and attempting to listen to anything Gaspard has to say or Adelie whenever she's stupid, I would very much choose this. So maybe I shouldn't complain. Maybe I should just, I should just take count my blessings. And my blessings are in the form of the people I'm around are kind of okay. And by that, I mean I forgot Pi was here. I'm just thinking about Coon. Coon's cool. But we gotta make fun of him for being a ladies' man because brain dead anime tropes. So I haven't encountered any Ida. He says when Ida is right fucking there. All right, give me the hookup. Ida confirmed. Look out, Haseo. Now you know I, I treat the game as a bit of a bit of a punching bag, mostly because I wasn't around for the zeitgeist of any of these dot hack games, right? So I'm coming into them super late, and I find it to be funnier to play up my criticism of stuff a little bit because it leads to better videos. And or I like the videos more. Um, can we talk about how great the PS2 was, man? Like, fuck. It was so good. You had the quadrilogy of these dot hack games, which clearly did well enough if they made three more with, a, with this, you know, sequel series, right? You had Final Fantasy X, X2, XI, and XII. You had SMT3, you had Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2, you had Rido 1 and 2. You had Persona 3 and 4. You had The Goat. Yeah, I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, a Chain of Memories port. You had you had that one Dragon Quest game, I think it was 8. We're talking about like PS2 like from a Japanese RPG standpoint. They were fucking they were doing it. And I'm talking about mostly mainstream stuff there. And then you have you know, stuff like Disgaea that had a couple of them on there. All the other NIS games that they make. There's like 18, 1,800 of them that that some you don't remember the names of, but they all kind of look and sound the same. I just like it because we still haven't run out of ports that are coming out of them, even now. PS4 is the closest that we're getting to a new age of like hype-ass Japanese games. PS3 I didn't find to be very good for that. Do we have another Ida to take out? We good? Good. We've got enough data. Okay, we got enough data seeds. But like yeah. Now, I I think about the last generation of gaming a lot, right? PS3, Xbox 360, uh the Wii. I, I think about it in relation to the genre that I enjoy, which is uh, JRPGs, but uh, I think about it a lot just because I see a lot of people shitting on uh, Square Enix and stuff because that Versus 13 never really happened and, you know, it took forever to announce Kingdom Hearts 3, stuff like that. And, and then you have to think about how fucking much that gen sucked for a lot of Japanese developers. They're just getting their asses kicked, either by using their own propriety gaming engines or... Uh, just putting out something that wasn't very good, and it takes them a lot longer to make games. And because of that, it just meant that we got less games, and if the games weren't as good, you wouldn't have, you'd have to wait a hell of a lot longer to get another one. It's kind of like when you think about Final Fantasy. Say you didn't like 8, 
on the PlayStation. You didn't like Final Fantasy VIII, and you're like, man, this fucking sucks. But then Final Fantasy IX could change your mind. And then, then that would come out like, what, one or two years? I don't know, because I didn't follow it, but I believe it was around that much time. Eh, it took you like one or two years, and then you've, you've got a completely different tone and feeling type of uh, FF game. Now you don't get that. that. That doesn't happen anymore. Last gen, it was Final Fantasy XIII if you didn't like that. How about I give you a sequel to it? You, you know, like that? How about I give you another sequel to that? And we didn't get, like, a new mainline, and I'm not counting MMOs, because you, you probably shouldn't different beast entirely. You can get another one of those uh, until... until 2016. They're still making that one. I'm joking. But it becomes rough, and that goes even beyond. It was just it. It became increasingly harder for people last gen to really get some games out, specifically Japan, because I feel like the West uh, adapted a hell of a lot better to game development. Also, they they have, I believe, more more crooked practices and uh, a little bit more rough on the crunch than uh, Japanese studios. So. Just, I just found that while PS3 had some really great games on the Japanese side, uh, they definitely weren't doing as well as uh, as the West. And I feel like we're already, we've already well outpaced last gen if you only count Japanese games. Off the top of my head, Persona 5, uh, the new Nier... We have Dragon Quest XI, we have Final Fantasy XV, we have Kingdom Hearts 3 coming this year. Boop, boop, boop. You got all these various uh, remasters, and um... Feels like uh, every so often I'm waiting for some new Japanese game to even pop up. It's been, it's been, it's been exciting. Uh, next up, we head to Bulwark, which is good because I'm running out of filler bullshit to talk about. That when I said I was talking about why this gen is good, I mentioned four fucking games. And we're going to ignore that because I'm tired and I don't feel like opening up a Google machine. I'm going to open up a Google machine, aren't I? Now, can you turn our shit back on, please? So, this is the operation folder? Not yet. We're still in the connecting hall. So what should we do? We'll have to get into the system's upper layer. Wait, something's coming! Looks like one of Ida's guards to me. There! Perfect. I'll tear it to pieces. All right. Come on. I'm feeling Come it. On. I'm right here! Sky! Come on, yeah, you will be what? Oh, that's a big. That's a. Alrighty. Guess we'll take on the gatekeeper. Ooh, you take. You have. Hmm. This is gonna require a bit more attention. Yeah, he's taking about as much damage as a boss like Magus or uh, Maka. However, I'm able to open him up a lot easier than them. This still has... This this one still has the same moveset, but with some variations. More projectiles, more beams. Alright, maybe I shouldn't give it the clout I was initially about to give it. In fact, I can really just tank everything. It doesn't matter if I take the hits. Because I can damage race this thing pretty good. Can we talk about the how the, the visual effect of Ida just looks really cool? I'm a big I'm a big fan. Oh man, I caught you sleeping. Nah, it looks like one more slash combo will do it. Because you're 
combining it with all the shots I'm nailing. How dare you disrupt me and reset and reset your shield bar. Oh god, you're wasting so much of my time. Alright. Let's charge her up. I like how it's still teaching me how to data drain. That's kind of cute. You're done. Yes? There may be other gatekeepers showing up soon. Hurry. 